Pardon essentially reverses the criminal convictions, and an expungement, on the other hand, seals your record. With Joe Biden's presidential pardon late 2022 for federally convicted offenders of marijuana possessions, nobody's record was expunged. But don't let facts get in the way of telling a good story, right? During a campaign speech in South Carolina on Saturday, Biden said, a promise made is a promise kept. I kept my promise and I said, no one, I repeat, no one should be in prison for merely possessing marijuana or using it. And their records should be expunged. As Marijuana Moments Kyle Yeager pointed out yesterday, there's a glaring issue with Biden's humble brag about fulfilling campaign pledges. In this case, he's routinely and frequently misstating the practical effects of the action. A presidential pardon represents formal forgiveness from the government, but it does not expunge the record, period. Per the article, several thousands of people have received the pardon for federal marijuana possession offenses under a pair of proclamations issued in 2022 and last month. The Justice Department has been distributing certificates to eligible people who apply for the largely symbolic Fish document. is back at Wienerschnitzel, reeling our fishing. What's, what's guess, what that, guess what it actually says on the certificate. Quote, Wiener the Schnitzel. pardon means that you are forgiven, but you still have a criminal record. It's right there, Joe. Come on, man. Jaeger even pointed out uh, that the thousands of people who did earn clemency, no one was released from prison as a result, despite Biden insinuating as much. As we often point out here on High and Nine News, there are still thousands of people in federal prisons over nonviolent cannabis offenses. It's just extremely rare that you'll end up there for simple possession. But Biden keeps pretending it did more. And apparently his speechwriters think it's cute to keep putting it in there. But what really pisses me off isn't really the uh, rhetoric that uh, it's Biden and his team being well aware of the political popularity of cannabis reform. Poll after poll cites the majority of Americans, the majority of swing voters and undecideds are all for legalization or decriminalization. And our country's current leadership continues to play word games while people's lives and freedom hang in the balance. So whether it's Biden or another term for Trump, um, we need to make sure whoever takes the seat in this year's election has the right people around them who will finally do and say the right things about cannabis reform and push legislation in a sensible path forward. This is not it. I'm Rico Lamit, the dopest dad on the street for High 9 News. Let's talk about it. Uh, semantics he made a mistake he did not make a mistake he is totally trying to placate and trying to use this to whim young voters into believing his ridiculousness i think he needs to uh get on board and just uh deschedule and uh he'll win the election by a landslide oh he would i i agree with that if he descheduled cannabis but you know he's not about descheduling he's about rescheduling and giving the whole industry to the pharmaceutical industry todd yeah, like your orange guy, too, is a big fan of that. Orange guy is not. He's not a fan of, of rescheduling. That is not true at all. He's a big fan of the pharmaceutical at, industry. Um, well, at the yes, same time, is. he's also the person that basically <laughs> basically legalized cannabis by signing the farm bill in the first place. And otherwise, you wouldn't be able to buy all that THCA that you get. <laughs> yeah. I'm not buying a lot of THCA. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, not not to like mention real weed, not, real weed. You so, know, so, so Jason, what you're saying is Donald Trump is the Delta Eight president. He is the Delta <laughs> Eight president, and just and just to show you how much you Delta go. Eight president this is, I was surfing the internet this morning, and I happened to find this meme. And since you decided to pick up the story, I figured we might as well post this meme of Joe Robinette Biden. Uh, uh, mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. Oh, yep, that's oh. right. Uh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's your boy. That's your boy. Remember, Make Delta that's, 8 great again. And that's right. <laughs> <laughs> all the that, synthetics. That implies it was once great, and that's just that's true. false. That's just true. Hold on. Wasn't Delta 8 great when it first came out? Everyone no, was, was raging about it. it was, Everyone was it, raging it was about it. Great. Yeah, it, was never, it, was never, it was never great. Whoever thinks Delta 8 is great can just see themselves right out the industry, please, right now. I mean, I used to sell. Anybody? I used to Anybody? Saman, I used to sell Delta 8. 
Uh, just yeah, as, I mean, I, back I, in the I mean, medical days. I've seen, you, I've seen you puffing on all that Delta Eight sprayed fucking hemp, all those packs back in the, the day, bro. That no, that's not. Thing, that's right? not what we're talking about. I used to sell Delta Eight straight <laughs> as a concentrate, straight as a concentrate, like a gram of Delta Eight. People could buy it in the Speaking of like like concentrating. Like who's speaking of concentrating? Mm-hmm. Yeah, speaking of concentrating no, no. on the article, yep. I just want to get back to this for a second. We have always known that if you're choosing between a Republican and a Democrat, the, the question is, which side of the shit sandwich do you want to take a bite out of? And uh, Biden right. has done some good things. Like, he also has like, a track record like. of not telling the truth that goes back decades. And so yes. separate from the dish de jour, we know this guy is a politician, which means if his mouth is moving, he's probably lying. Mm-hmm. And so the question becomes in this next election cycle, which side of the shit sandwich do you want to take a bite out of? I don't really have anything nice to say about Trump. I have a few nice things to say about Biden. I would love to but hear Biden this. Biden is... Yeah, I, and we, you know, and and we can we can riff on that. We got a whole hour, and our viewers, I'm sure, will want to hear it and you know participate in the chat. But the truth is, is that Biden hasn't fulfilled a campaign promise. Biden doesn't feel committed to telling things that are factual, and Biden is stumping. And the best thing Biden could do would be to get out of the way and let new blood from the Democratic Party. Uh, be the presidential contender. And so he's made a massive misstep. He should have run right after Obama was out. He took a gap year like he was in college or something, came back, won, and wants to go for another go-around. He should be going around retiring Mm -hmm. and riding off into the sunset. And if the Democratic Party wants to remain or hopes to become relevant and maybe get back to its roots— it's not going to be able to do that with this old, white, established political man with Kamala one heartbeat away from the presidency. And I think, unfortunately, that both Republicans and Democrats, conservatives and progressives, they know that. And so mm-hmm. Biden, Biden's the dry, crusty part of that poopy sandwich. And I don't think most voters want to take a bite of it. That's right, because it's too hard to swallow. <laughs> I mean, there's one thing we can agree on, Yaro, is that Biden is the crusty turd that is, you know, stinking up the place, and he should definitely retire. But the Dems are also, dude, they're they're the ones who are totally out of line, rotten to the core, completely, completely dismissing what everybody in this country once wanted, which was Bernie Sanders. They were unilaterally no no responsible for, for, for dismantling, like, that trust in uh the democratic voter or that's right the moment yeah, that's, they a, that's a good in, young man that they should have uh right well accepted. you know what hey, 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 that, forget right. about young girl old forget about young girl talking about, about how old he is right i it's mean about, the no, he's, about, it's about moral like it's about moral fortitude it's about moral fortitude bernie sanders is the one dude that stood up there and has told it like it is for so I'm many years we Brian. got biden we got flip-flopper biden over joe here biden. just putting everybody in joe jail biden for cannabis for I other want a weekend. I want a weekend right. at Bernie's, okay? And when the Democratic Party decided to shove Hillary in there instead of a Bernie uh, Warren <laughs> ticket, it was really clear <laughs> that they didn't even want to represent their base, and they wanted to just tack towards the middle Those of the bell facts. curve to get that swing vote this in a way that Wokies. swung their real base away from them anyway. And, that's because all the Wokies are right. Exactly. So, mm-hmm. so. We got to come to a consensus here. Like, Joe Biden is the uh, the old dried-up turd, and um, Donald Trump, a vote for Donald Trump is a is just straight diarrhea. A vote for Donald yeah, Trump smelly. is a vote for America. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. It's an old they're both, orange. They're both shirt. Terrible, but, but like I said in my story, man, we got to make sure like hey, both of them are at high risk of not finishing a term, like it or not. I would we say Biden sure is a much higher risk. Have, what, Trump is healthy. Sure the people that they full have, full of energy. Yeah, Trump, Trump's I'm good. Trump, he'll, Trump, he'll, Trump he'll, is all good. I'm not worried about that. Full of experimental drugs to keep himself KFC going. So it's good. Yeah, I'm not worried. I'm not worried about I'm Trump. Saying, we got to make sure the people that are, that are around them, we're take, we're holding them to account too. Like it, just like uh, Yaro said, like they're politicians, they're mm-hmm. liars. You want to pick one liar over the over the other? That's your business. Trump's not, not necessarily a politician, though. Anybody. 
Uh, yeah, I'm not going to judge anybody for for supporting either side. Uh, but I'm going to tell you what we really about, have to be if you scared care about, about this. If you care about cannabis reform, if you care about cannabis prisoners being released and all that, you got to hold their speech writers mm -hmm. accountable. You got to hold. Yeah, but listen, Rico, Rico, tell the truth here. The one thing we all have to be concerned about is this this gigantic uh, prison complex that we're creating in this country. And Biden is yeah. one of the biggest supporters. He's always been. He and was that's one of the original you know, architects be, of this. Exactly, exactly. So we have to be concerned about that fact is like whoever gets in this place is going to perpetuate that problem that we have is like as cannabis consumers as parents who consume cannabis look we're targets right they're going to come after yeah. us well with you all know what so i'm, I'm just on. saying you guys better be careful what you wish for and be careful who you want to put in all jokes aside we make fun of yeah. all these people but you guys better like you know consider all of those things because that's a real risk i agree us. guess guess, guess I mean, which why president don't we, why don't we strip aside why don't we strip aside the popular talking heads and just go with a bipartisan ticket the michael flynn hunter biden <laughs> ticket okay hey that would and be a that good ticket way That'd we be a can good ticket. stop pretending no. that there's any <laughs> integrity it, with any of the candidates in this race I don't know. Yeah, I think know, I think uh, General Flynn know, has Trump tons of integrity. Yeah, yeah. Donald Jr., oh. Don Jr., and Hunter Biden. <laughs> I'll say this. I'll say this. I, 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 I'll, I'll, and butthead. I'll, I'll say this on this. Oh, here, yeah. here, here's, here, here's a little bit of truth that probably most Crack of you won't want to hear. But the reality of it is this, is that Trump has done more for criminal justice reform than any other president within oh, our lifetime. Uh, yeah, because just, he's a criminal, so he it right. takes one to no one. <laughs> hey, hey, he's he, he's all about the reform, and that's what we need is reform of our criminal justice system. And on that, we're going to yeah. go to a commercial, and we're going to be right back.